Hey guys, as you probably know, the iPhone 6 recently came out. And if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen the iPhone 6 Ben Test video that I posted about. It's been all over the news recently that the iPhone 6 does bend if you try. And that is a huge problem for idiots. I came up with a solution, a hypothesis, if you will. And I wanted to tell everyone about it, but I needed to test it out first. It was hard to get an iPhone. It's a hot commodity right now. Then I started conducting some tests to see if this was actually a viable solution to prevent the iPhone 6 from bending. And, you know, I think, I think I've really gotten to the bottom of this. For the first test, I, uh, I purchased a laptop, and I took, I took the laptop, and I, I bent it as hard as I could, like that, and it snapped, it snapped in half, and uh, it doesn't work anymore. So then, I bought a PS4 to try this out on some other technology. And I lifted the PS4 over my head, and I slammed it on the ground. And to my great surprise, it broke, and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. It, it won't play games, it won't play Blu-rays. So what you're gonna need to do to prevent the iPhone 6 from breaking is you're gonna take it in your, in your hand, like, like I'm doing, you know, I'm holding it, and basically, you just try not to break it you dumb shits. It would appear that the first thing that people are doing when they're getting their iPhone 6s is, is trying to break them. That's kind of like doing this. Hey Jim. Hey man. Got to use brand new $300 glasses. Really? A gift for you. That sounds really expensive. They're super expensive and nice. Aw, oh, dude. They bent when I tried to bend them. What? How dare they? I better take them back yeah, right now. Yeah, take them back. There's nothing on the iPhone package that says they're indestructible. If you're trying to break something, it'll probably break. Apple's probably watching these Ben test videos like, yeah, no shit. Don't try to break your phones. Usually when I spend my money on nice things, I take care of them. And then I thought, you know, wait, people are saying that it bends in their pocket when they sit on it. So instead of sitting on your phone, you know, when you're out at a restaurant with your friends, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it down on the table like so, and I guarantee you, it won't break when it's sitting here, okay? Wow, look at that. I've discovered that it's much safer to keep your iPhone on a solid surface instead of sitting on it. I've also experimented with all of the functions of the iPhone, and none of them caused it to break for me. See, look, I'm talking on the phone, and it's not bending. I'm texting, no bend. Taking some pictures, playing some games, no bend. So if you're gonna try to bend your iPhone 6, don't complain when it bends. And if you have any dumbass friends that have had problems with their iPhone 6 bending when they try to snap it in half, you know, don't hesitate to pass this video on. Together, we can stop this problem. Because the solution is really not that difficult. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been helpful. Stay tuned for the next sketch, Crime Guy, coming out next week. It's going to be a funny one. Also, my next two stand-up shows are in Boulder, Colorado on the 23rd of October and Sacramento on the 1st of November. I've posted the ticket links in the descriptions. I'll see you guys there. Or else, or I won't. But I would, I would prefer to see you there. So.